Surprise, surprise, we have yet another predatory plot. Humberside PCSO, 49-year-old Simon Smith, faced court last week over a string of inappropriate relationships with vulnerable women. The allegations against Smith were three misconduct offences and one of perverting the course of justice. He is alleged to have committed misconduct in public office between June 30th, 2018 and April 28th, 2019, involving initiating and pursuing a sexual relationship with a woman whilst on duty. A misconduct in public office offence between February the 2nd and May the 9th, 2019, involving initiating and pursuing a sexual relationship with a second woman. Misconduct in a public office on February the 10th, 2019, by providing his personal telephone number to a third woman and encouraging her to contact him and suggesting that such conduct, conduct would be concealed from the police as well as sending an unsolicited, unsolicited text message to her intending to initiate a sexual relationship and perverting the course of justice on September the 1st, 2019 by going to the second woman's home and telling her to say to the police that they had just been friends whilst knowing that an investigation was ongoing. Smith was said to have behaved in a predatory way towards the women whilst wearing a PCSO uniform and approached a number of women to begin sexual relationships with them. The relationships commenced while Smith was working in uniform and had access to the women as part of his duties. Appearing at Hull Crown Court last week, Smith was found guilty and sentenced for two years and ten months at Her Majesty's pleasure. Humberside Police's Head of Professional Word Salad, Detective Superintendent Matt Baldwin, said, As a PCSO, Smith was in a role where the local community trusted him and that he completely abused his position for his own advantage and sexual gain. I want to thank the victims in this case for their bravery and courage in supporting the investigation, as without their assistance, the result today would not have been possible. Smith's actions were utterly reprehensible, and we will absolutely not tolerate, accept or condone this kind of behaviour that ultimately can undermine the public's confidence in us as Humberside Police and in policing. I hope that Smith uses the time behind bars to consider the consequences of his actions and the impact that his behaviour has had on his victims and the wider community. I think he's more likely to be spending his time behind bars learning how to fart quietly. Smith's devious and repulsive behaviour gravely failed to uphold and maintain the standards both we and, more importantly, the public expect. We'll always thoroughly investigate any misconduct within the force and I want to make it clear that there are no exceptions. We are continually striving to better ourselves and provide excellent policing to our communities and anyone who fails in their responsibility to serve and protect the public and meet our high expectations will unreservedly always be held accountable for their actions. Well, that's a fucking joke. Although I tell you what, I have noticed recently that more PCSOs are being outed than before. I mean, before it was more police constables and not plastic plod. And I find myself wondering if the forces have realised that using normal plod as uh, cannon fodder is going to leave them in the mire, but getting rid of a few plastic plod makes it look like they're doing something while keeping real police on the streets, even if most of them are degenerates. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe. Look after each other, film the police and other officials.